All right. So we're going to start off with closure. And the idea of closure is something that people may not have heard before, but it's not too bad. Uh, we say that a set is closed under addition. If you add any two elements in the set, you get an element in the set. So like if I add two integers, I get an integer. So the integers are closed under, mul under addition. Uh, integers would be closed under multiplication as well, because if I multiply two integers, I get an integer. Integers would not be closed under, no, integers would be fine. But like, let's say you took like whole numbers under subtraction. That would not be closed because if you took two whole numbers and subtracted them, you don't necessarily get a whole number. Negative two is not a whole number, therefore that doesn't work. Forget what whole numbers and stuff are. I have another video on that, the real number system. So that's that. So that's closure and uh, for both addition and multiplication. Uh, associated property, um, here the numbers stay in the same order, but they associate with different pieces. So the grouping symbols change. Here the B associates with the A, but here the B associates with the C. So you know that this is the same as that works fine with numbers as well. If you have 3 plus 5 plus 7, that's the same thing as 3 plus 5 plus 7, right? So, no big deal there. Uh, multiplication, same idea. A times B times C. The order is the same, just the grouping symbols change. Here the B associates with the A. Here the B associates with the C. So that's your associated property. Commutative property, the numbers commute. So A plus B is the same as B plus A. Those numbers commute, the order stays, the order changes. Uh, and um, for multiplication, same thing. A times B is the same as B times A. The numbers commute, they move. Identity is the element you have to add so that an element maintains its identity. If we want A plus something to go back to A, our identity element is going to be 0, because we know if we add 0 to anything, it'll stay the same. For multiplication, if we multiply A by something and we want it to stay the same for it to maintain its identity, we want that multiplicative identity to be 1. So a times 1 is a. Now for the inverse, if we want to undo a, if I want a plus something to give me whatever my identity element is, what would I do? Um, here, our inverse is going to be negative a, because a plus negative a gives us the identity element, which was 0. Same thing over here. If I want to undo what's happening to A to get my identity element, I would multiply A by 1 over A to undo that. So A times 1 over A would give me 1, which is the identity, and I did it. And that is my multiplicative 